Hey guys, last time around we did a minnow style lure like a shad wrap or a flicker shad. We tried doing one similar to a Berkeley pattern called the Red Tiger. Well this week we're going to come back there again, only this time we're going to try to do one similar to the Blue Tiger. Well because of the change in coloring we're going to have to take a couple extra steps and eh, I might have an interesting twist to try something different. Stick with me. All right, here we go. I've got the white base coat on first, the opaque the white from Createx. We're going to go with the white belly on this one, and we're going to go with the pearlized white. So the Createx pearl white for the belly. And on camera, how much of that's really going to show up for you, I don't know, but it does give that belly a little nicer look with the pearlized. All right, that'll have that. I know you probably can't hardly see it, but trust me, it's got pearl white on the belly. Let me wash up and we're gonna move on. Okay, now, right on the end of the belly here, up in the front, got a little red, so we're gonna go with a little bit Createx transparent bright red. And we're just gonna go probably from the eye that holds the hook forward, it's about as far as I wanna go. There we go, just a little, we don't want much. And that'll do it. All right, let me clean back up. We're gonna go on to the next step. All right, going into the helping hand here because I'm gonna do something a little different. Now, last time around I said we did the red tiger and we had the red belly with the yellow, but you get a little bit of a trans uh, transitionary in the middle where it's kind of went from red to yellow and turned orange. I don't want to do that this time. So this time we're going to try something a little different. We're going to take a little painter's tape. All right. And we're just going to take a piece of painter's tape. And I want a straight line on this one this time. So I'm just going to go right there. Oops, get my finger off it. Because it won't stick much there. There we go. All right. Just going to run a piece of tape there. We're going to come back on this side. We'll do the same thing over here. All right. Now I shouldn't get too much down there on the bottom. And what we're going to come back with next is the opaque black. All right. Get some shaken up, put a little on. And now, let's see if I can put that down so it stays. And now we're just going to do the top end here. The opaque black. If you notice, I'm hitting it from the side. So I, if the tape comes out a little, it won't get down in there. I'm not going to worry too much about the top. There's plenty of stuff going to go on the top here a little bit. All right, that's good. Got the black on. Now, I'm going to hit the heat gun. I'm going to dry this before I start trying to take that tape off. All right, there we go. Just a real distinct straight line, which normally you probably don't usually want that. But in this situation, we do because I don't want the wrap to extend down into the belly. I wanted that to stay totally different. So now we're going to come back with the same wrap I used the last time. And just going to go right over the top. And again, the wrap doesn't extend very far down the belly, but it doesn't have to because I don't want anything down on the belly. We're not going to go that far down with our painting. Let's just get this back in, pull that down there real tight. And let me see if I can get it where. There we go. Okay, that's got that pulled good and tight. Try that again. There we got it. All right, now we got that pulled good and tight. All right. 
Now, last time around, when we did this, I had the top was yellow. I was putting black over so I could do that because it would get a cover. But now we're not. Now we have the dark color. If we're going to put a lighter color on top, in order to get it to look right, we're going to have to paint that white first. So we're going to come back. And I'm just going to use, you know, let's go ahead. We'll use the opaque. We'll just put on the Createx opaque white. And we'll give everything a good cover. The only thing we got to be careful, don't get any on the red on that belly. We don't want to get anything there. But make sure we get all that black covered. There we go. All right. We got it all white. Now we can come back and put the color that we want on top. And that'll be our blue. Okay, for our blue color, we're going to stick with Createx Transparent. And this is Caribbean blue. Nice light colored blue. And that's what we're going to shoot for next. Now, if it's going to taper into the white on that uh, paralyzed white in the belly, that's fine. I want it to go ahead and taper down now, but I didn't want the black to taper. And there we go. That's all it takes. Now, we're going to dry this with the heat gun good before we start taking that wrap off. All right, let's see what we got. Take all the clips off. And there we go. We got our taper down, but you notice the black does not go down into the white. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to go ahead and let the blue come down. I didn't want the black to come down. One more step. Got one more thing we're going to do quick. Going to take the Createx Opaque Black. A lot of times here I use the Pearl Eyes, but this time it's not going to be a very big, so we'll just go ahead and use the Opaque. We're just going to go right down the middle of the back. And I want a little around the face. I'm going to shoot it forward so I don't shoot the black back into here. Just around that eye socket. And that is all I wanted. And there we do it. The tiger, or blue tiger. Kind of like that. As always, eyes, top coat. And we'll see what it looks like when we're all said and done. Well, there we go, guys. There's the blue tiger. There's got to be a fish somewhere that thinks that's a shad. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.